because you can't build real communities on social media, digital marketing expert Helene Kwong is here to talk about building and maintaining authentic communities in the online world. So, online communities are totally real, right? <laughs> They're real, yeah. <laughs> but so many businesses go around go about it the wrong way, you know, they're doing yeah. the automation tools, they're like, mm -hmm. oh, you know, that's easy, I can just schedule all this stuff out and, you know, basically like, forget about it. Did but, you know, the three C's of being, you know, content consistency, community, community yes. is the most important, even though it's the third one, because yes. without it, for a brick and mortar business, you know, you're in person, if you don't have a community right. around your business, like, it can be transactional, it can be like, okay, yeah. I gotta sell here, I gotta sell there, but, after a while, people are going to be like, well, what makes you guys different from the big chain down the street? Right. You know, so it's the same thing with online communities. It's like, if you're not connecting with the people, and I, I feel like a lot of businesses, they think of it as being more, they think of social media like it's just a online extension. Announcements. Yeah, announcements. Yeah. Online extension of TV, radio, all the traditional yes. marketing out there. But it's like, it's definitely not that. You can have a two-way conversation with your customers and clients. And they want that. Yeah, they want that. Because like, even for me as a consumer, like, when I reach out to especially a local business and mm -hmm. they don't respond, I'm like, oh, <laughs> I feel yeah. sad. I'm like, okay, well, they're all about talking about the, you know, they're about community and all that stuff. And yes. then they don't follow through with it to where it's like, oh, okay. Well. I get so excited when my favorite brands uh -huh. share my, like, will retweet yeah. something. Like if I take a picture of my food oh, and yeah. I, you know, and they retweet it, I'm like, oh my God. They did, or they even if they like, respond yeah. to you, especially right. when they do that, you're like, oh, <laughs> I exist. <laughs> right? I've had some really fun conversations with, um, like, there's this bee, bee vomit honey company. Oh, okay. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. And I remember having this funny conversation with somebody where we shared an article about uh -huh. um, how honey is bee vomit. Uh -huh. And they started in our conversation, they joined uh, in the conversation. They were like, it really is, see? <laughs> yeah, hey, well, I mean, right there, it just builds credibility for their business too, to where yeah. it's like, you know, you're not just making up stuff and they're not just standing behind being silent and be like, yeah, sure, just keep right. doing that, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> they're like, yeah, they're participating in it as a person, but like, you know, as an entity itself to where it's like, you have a voice. Yeah. As a business online, you know, you do have a voice to where it's like, you got to talk with people, but you also got to make sure that, you know, when they ask you questions, you respond. Not mm -hmm. so much about, oh, hey, next special here and next special there yes. and, oh, come to our event kind of thing. It's like, it's not so much about the broadcasting. So, I yeah. mean, that's part of it. It's just that you need to make sure that you're having the conversation to build your thriving online community. And then in the end, it's like, yeah, you might have 500 followers, but they're 500 engaged followers, yes. you know, versus a million followers who don't even know who you, that you exist. They're right. like based in other countries, they're never going to buy from you. They're just like auto liking everything, auto commenting. This is great. You know, it's like <laughs> it's not authentic. So it's all about authenticity. Yeah, I can appreciate that. I feel like the online world is it's very different than any other type of advertising. And I feel like you can't really look at it as advertising mm -hmm. if you want to be successful with it. Yeah, you have to really view it as something different, as more of a relationship, you know, customer relationship. Mm -hmm management or customer relationship building platform versus looking at it like an advertising platform. Yeah, it's all about the storytelling. I mean, it's just about just being real. It's like people are trying to put up that front of being like, I'm like this, or you know, the businesses are being like, I'm like this. But if mm -hmm. they're just, they're not telling a compelling story, people don't, people you know, don't after care. a while, they're just like, okay, I'm gonna go on to the next coffee shop or mm -hmm. the next whatever, you know? Yeah. So what's your favorite tip for um, businesses, small or large, that mm -hmm. want to start really cultivating a community for their business on social media? Well, I mean, I guess especially for uh, Twitter, but you can do it on Instagram and the other networks as well, is that, you know, just think of what you want to listen for as a business. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, Twitter and Instagram have the hash hashtags and stuff. So, you know, yes. listen for, or, you know, put up search terms for people, for, you know, terms that basically people would search for for your business. So, mm -hmm. for example, a pizza company, if people are like, I'm hungry, or they use the pizza emoji, you know, you could, you know, see what they're talking about with their uh. friends through that, or you could just even pop in and be like, hey, you want pizza? We're down the street from you. I mean, that's, that gets a little borderline salesy, but, yes, to where but it's, it's like, still cute. it's still <laughs> cute, and it's also, you're being a little more yes. proactive in that way to where you're not waiting for them to come to you. Right, so where, how do people start doing that? Is it just like going to Twitter and searching, or a tool? You can go through Twitter and search. You can also use TweetDeck, which is owned by Twitter. Okay. Um, of course, you know, that's more than what we can talk about on this show, yes. but, you know, if people <laughs> want to reach out, out to us and, talk about it and just have me do a tutorial, I can do that. You know? Okay, awesome. Yeah, I know you do lots of workshops and things like that. Yeah. 
Well, thank you so much, Helene, for those amazing tips and uh, helping people to understand the importance of building communities on social. Of course, thank you. <laughs> thank you.